Hi, I'm Pato from KanjiLink. In this video, I would like to explain how to make the polite form of verbs in Japanese. We will start with group 1 verbs. In order to explain how to make the polite form, I will need the hiragana chart. As you know, group 1 verbs have 9 possible endings, located on the U row. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out my previous video or my website. Since not all columns contain a verb ending, I will just take out those that we don't need, so that it is easier to read. Ah, much better. And here is the polite form, mas. Just imagine, mas is like this very important person, and when he is around, everybody has to wear a nice costume. How can a verb do that? That's very easy. You just have to change the u ending syllable into your e ending syllable, which is one row up. Then you can add mas. Let's try with concrete examples. First, with nomu to drink. This verb ends with the syllable mu. I look for it in the hiragana chart. Oh, here it is. I move up one row and change mu into mi. Then I just have to add mas. The polite form of nomu is nomi mas. Nomi mas. What about toru to take? It ends with the syllable ru. I look for it in the hiragana chart and move up one row. Ru becomes ri and I add mas. Toru becomes tori mas. Tori mas. One last example for the group one that will show you the importance of learning hiragana. Let's have a look at hanasu to talk. If you're thinking romaji, you might want to change the ending u into i. But the thing is, the sound si doesn't exist in Japanese. If we look for the ending syllable su in the hiragana chart and move up one row, we have shi, not si. So the polite form of hanasu is hanashimasu. hanashimasu. I hope this will make you want to memorize hiragana. Okay, that's it for group one. The good news is that you did the most difficult part. Group two verbs are much easier. As you know, they always end with ru, with a e or e ending syllable before. Well, this ru is very weak, because any time we want to conjugate a group 2 verb, it just disappears. Just try with the verb miru to look. I take out the ru and put mas instead. That's it, miru becomes mimas. We're done with group 2. Moving on to group 3, the irregular verbs suru, to do, and kuru, to come. Since they are irregular, you just have to memorize their conjugation. Suru becomes shi and kuru becomes ki. Then we just add mas. Let's practice with benkyo suru to study. Suru becomes shi, so benkyo suru becomes menkyo shi mas. Benkyo shimas. Okay, we studied all the groups. Let's summarize everything. For group 1, you change the U ending syllable into a E ending syllable by moving up one row. For group 2, you just take out the ending RU. In group 3, SURU becomes SHI and KURU becomes KI. Once you've made all these changes, you just have to add MAS. And you want to know something cool? You just killed not two but five birds with one stone. Let's say you want to make the polite negative. Well, you just have to add masen instead of mas. For example, since wakaru to understand is a group 1 verb, the negative of wakaru would be wakarimasen, wakarimasen. You want to put it in the past? Add mashita instead of mas. Wakaru, wakarimashita, wakarimashita. I understood. You didn't understand? Add Masen deshita instead of mas. Wakaru, wakari masen deshita. Wakari masen deshita. I didn't understand. Finally, if you want to say let's do something, you just have to add masho instead of mas. For example, to rest, yasumu. Let's rest, yasumi masho. That's it for the polite form. Now you can kick back and relax. Yasumimasho! If you need more help with Japanese, check out my website, kanjilink.com.